Hey everyone, and welcome to my new channel, Being Young and Christian, where I'll be documenting my relationship stories from the age of 16 till now. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to tell anybody how old I am. But, um, so 16 to 35. I keep telling people that I'm 34, and my birthday was just July 7th, so, um, you know, I don't feel terrible terribly bad for it like I'm lying or like I'm completely delusional um, but I've told like at least two or three people that I was 34 since my birthday um, I just don't want to let it go um, but anyway so I'm going to be detailing my relationship stories from 16 to 35 um, of course my story is not over so I will just be letting you guys know what I have gone through thus far. So just a little bit about me. I am from Buffalo, New York. I was born and raised there and um, I feel like my city was absolutely crucial in making me the person that I am today um, along with my friends and my family and so I wouldn't have it any other way. So people that are haters of the Bills, haters of New York, haters of the North in general, whatever because I definitely feel like I would not be the person I am today if um, I didn't grow up where I was and I didn't have the kinds of people that I did in my life. I had um, great friends for the most part. We kind of had a falling out um, the summer before senior year, which really stinks because that probably would have been like the best year of us all being together. Um, so that's going to actually be in my first video of how I fell out with some of my friends in Buffalo. <sighs> Good grief. Um, I don't even know if I want to dredge all that up, but I'm going to. <laughs> But now I live in Florida. Um, I'm not really jazzed about it. I don't feel like me in the South agree um, about much of anything, but you know, it is what it is. I'm here right now for my family. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. Sometimes I'm tempted to be like, I'm gonna move away and <laughs> start all over somewhere. Or I'm gonna go back up north or go back to New York or something. And um, it's a pipe dream right now. So I'm pretty much stuck here. Um, I help take care of my parents. And so wherever they are, I unfortunately have to be right now. But it is what it is. Um, I have a degree in human relations and a degree in social science and public policy. Um, I went to Atlanta Christian College for my human relations degree and I also went to FSU for social science and public policy. So um, I kind of have a good idea about how the world and how people work, um, you know, as far as not just personal observation, but just in the coursework of study that I did. And I plan on getting my master's in psychology for um, behavior analysis. So we'll see how that goes. Um, that's something I've put up to God right now to kind of show me direction on. Um, I've always been really observant and that behavior person to want to know like what people are thinking what people are feeling and you know I've really been in tune to people's emotions and stuff like that um, a lot of empathy and things like that um, which sucks like I'm already an overly emotional person so to add like you know being empathetic and um, in tune with other people's emotions and um, the vibes that you get from people and all those kinds of things um, it's just made for a, a tough life <laughs> I've always had jobs aside from like one stint at a bank I had um, jobs in social service and human relations type jobs um, where it was kind of social worky and things like that just helping people and taking care of people and that's just pretty much my nature so um, other than that I am the baby of four um, I have two sisters and a brother and I have 
14 nieces and nephews if you include all my step nieces and nephews as well I want to say hopefully I didn't leave anybody out um, I want to say 14 is my solid final answer um, but I absolutely adore them and so if I never get to be a mother I am glad I got to be motherly to um, my nieces and nephews it's definitely been rewarding enough if that never happens but um i'm praying for baby dust first i need to find a husband though um so my first video is actually going to be about the relationship i had with a guy i lost my virginity to so stay tuned for that that's going to be the first video i drop so my plan is to do new videos every monday and um i made a list of the guys that i'm going to um discuss or the relationships that i'm going to discuss um i'm good for a couple months so <laughs> we'll see what happens after that and kind of how this changes and what it turns into so I really wanted to make this channel um, because I had it on my heart for a number of years now to write a book about the challenges of being young and also trying to be the best Christian I can possibly be and um, I know that I'm never going to be perfect and I would never claim to be. I've definitely made a lot of mistakes um, definitely feel like there are some situations I could have handled better in my relationships and um, I definitely feel like God was talking to me in all of them and so that's why I wanted to do a YouTube channel to document just the issues that I had and the challenges that I had with trying to have relationships with men but also not compromise myself and um, it definitely was a journey and I am not scared to say I've totally fallen short <laughs> of most of the principles um, that a Christian would have in regards to dating um, but the reason why I wanted to do write a book and then do this channel was because I felt like I'm not the only one like there's absolutely positively no way that I'm the only young Christian that has felt challenged by trying to do the right thing by my faith and to trust in God and to be patient and wait on him for the right relationships. Um, so I know I can't be alone in, in saying that I definitely failed and pretty much sucked at relationships um but i think that god was still talking to me in them and that's why i felt so strongly about trying to share my story so that other christian women know that they're not alone and um, my hopes would be that um younger christian women would not make the same mistakes that i did um I really try to talk to one of my youngest nieces about relationships and boys. She's going into high school and it's so scary for me to think about her like making the choices that I did. And um, so I really try to like focus on trying to build her self esteem and tell her how pretty she is. And she is really pretty. She's so nice. Um, I definitely try to do those kinds of things for her because I don't ever want her to feel like she has to make certain choices because she feels bad about herself or because she wants to get people to like her because she has a false sense of what love is so i definitely feel like this channel is you know a purging for me um this last probably few months i have really stopped communicating with most of my exes and I've been trying to just make a clean slate and just realize and remember that they're exes for a reason and I know that's so easy to say um and people might be able to do it but I guess like I have a problem <laughs> with letting go um so if that's you know definitely one thing that I can say um I fail that is letting them go when I know that I should so 
Um, anyway, but I definitely wanted to be able to share my experiences in hopes that maybe other people won't go down the same road that I did. Um, and just a disclaimer, I am not perfect. My stories um, aren't going to be graphic or anything like that. Um, but I mean, I definitely feel like, you know, I've had relationships that were not pleasing to God and I'm gonna just leave it at that and um, I feel like I want other women to know that they're you know they're not by themselves <laughs> the struggle is real and um, being young and being a Christian is hard because you have the world on one end and then you have you know the halo that you want to be able to protect on the other end but they're constantly warring between each other and it's sad because i do feel like i'm a relatively smart girl um woman whatever you want to say you know back then smart girl um i just feel like maybe my self-esteem or um wanting to be a people pleaser made me make some decisions that i shouldn't have um you know one of which is getting married at i want to say i keep going back and forth they got married i was 23 about to turn 24 three months later so that's why i can't ever <laughs> really remember plus i just rather forget about being married um but i was married for six years and so um obviously i'm divorced now so i was married at 23 24 divorced at 30 so that was not awesome um so i definitely have a testimony about that if nothing else to urge women to wait to be equally yoked um there's just so many things that i learned and i felt like i was trying to tell me during that time um before during after that i didn't listen to and i think that that's a lot of the time what happens and that's what messes us up it's just such a learning process and i feel like anyone that would scold someone for the relationship choices that they've made um you're bad people <laughs> um and the reason being is because everyone has their path and their journey and yes i would have rather you know had the perfect path and the perfect plan that god had for me and i would have wanted to do it all over again and work and walk in that path but things happen and if you're not given all the tools that you need to even be in a mature relationship it's hard for you to make those decisions you know if you didn't really have a good foundation to begin with then it's really hard for you to be able to know what choices you should and shouldn't make and um the fact that you need to set boundaries for yourself when you're young and when you set boundaries i think that that helps you to know what your convictions are and to live better in them um so i also wanted to be able to appeal to younger women than me um teenagers and um girls going into college for them to understand <sighs> Just how big of an impact relationships have on your life and how they can cause you to make choices that you didn't want to make and not just choices you know about your body or um, choices about you know just you know self-esteem and things like that or you know what you are or are not gonna let a man do in a relationship with you but you know where you go for the rest of your life like what you accomplish you know um, if you get with the wrong person that leads you down the wrong path, it just derails you so much and it can definitely make you make choices that you wouldn't have otherwise, um, go places you may not have been otherwise, and miss blessings that you should have had. Most of my stories are about getting my heart broken and um, just dating the wrong people. One thing that I 
feel like is a pro tip for women younger than me is not to date somebody cuter than you. I, um, I've learned that. <laughs> I want to be the cuter one in the relationship. Um, now, sometimes you can find somebody that's cuter than you, but they don't know it because they're just so humble. And that's amazing and probably really rare nowadays. Um, I should have straightened my hair today, but I was being lazy and now it just won't do right. So don't come for me. I will, I will do better in the future, I promise. Or I will try to do better in the future. This is, you know, real life. So I'm not always <laughs> camera ready. Um, but what you can expect from my channel um, will be stories about being married and divorced. Um, stories of me dating outside of my race. Um, dated white guys. I've dated Hispanic guys. I want to say that's it. I've also redated a lot of my exes. Um, so I'm going to have a part one, part two, and I think a part three of one or two of them. <laughs> so if you see a part one or part two, <laughs> part three I uh, know that there's more to come with that situation so I'm probably gonna leave you a little bit hanging so like I said I'm gonna be releasing my first video about the relationship with the guy I lost my virginity to and um, I'm hoping and praying my family and um, Particularly, my parents don't watch that one. <laughs> I really don't want them to watch any of them. Oh. Sorry in advance. I guess you now know that I was 16 when I lost my V card. <laughs> if you're excited about this journey I'm about to take you guys on and hearing my stories, please give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends, um, urge them to subscribe. I definitely feel like I will get really boring if nobody is commenting and um, leaving me feedback about what they're thinking and how um, they can maybe relate to my video. So please leave comments below um, so I know that you were here. And if you subscribe, definitely say hi. Um, if you're a family member, you can subscribe, but I do not want to hear about this at the next family reunion. If you God forbid, watch my losing my virginity video. Um, please don't tell my parents. <laughs> um, I'm not proud of it. I'm really not um, but it is what it is it's my story so stay tuned for that um, please subscribe so that you can get my new videos every Monday I definitely would like to hear about your stories um, I will leave my Instagram and Twitter right here so that you guys can um, follow me on there as well and if you're excited <laughs> about hearing um, my future stories um, give me a thumbs up thank you guys for watching and subscribe before you leave years uh, older than me is a really bad influence um <laughs> she's probably gonna be like you can't blame me for your own you know whatever but um